Hey guys, it's the Nail Polish Challenge and today I'm going to show you how I did this super fun Skittle Nail Art Manicure. I'm going to teach you how to do all four of these designs so make sure you stay tuned to see how I did it. So I'm sure some of you are wondering what is a Skittle Manicure? Well, that can mean one of two things. One, it can be when all of your nails have the same color scheme but each nail has a different design. Or it can be when all of your nails have the same design but each nail has a different color scheme. I'm going to be doing the first one. For this manicure, you're going to need base coat, white nail polish, pink nail polish, a nice light blue polish, and top coat. You're also going to need a large dotting tool and a nail art brush. I'm just using this small paintbrush that I got from Michaels, I believe, and I just cut some of the bristles off so it would be thinner. I'm also using a cosmetic sponge and some chevron nail vinyls that I got from the What's Up Nail store. So let's start with your index nail, which is the yin yang design. Start off with a clean nail and some base coat. Now you can apply one to two coats of your white nail polish. Once that's dry, take your small paintbrush and start to create the yin yang shape. It doesn't have to be perfect because when you fill it in, you can sort of fix up the lines as needed. Now you can start to fill it in and make sure you leave an empty white circle for the dot part of the yin yang. If you don't feel comfortable doing this, you can always use a dotting tool with white polish later, but I think this is just easier. Now you can take your large dotting tool and your pink nail polish and create a dot on the white part. Once everything's dry, you can finish off with a glossy top coat. Moving on to the middle nail, which is the chevron design. Start off with your clean nail and some base coat. And of course, once that is dry, you can use one to two coats of your white nail polish. Make sure the white is completely dry before you start to add your chevron stickers. Otherwise, you could pull up the white nail polish when you peel them off later. Um, so basically just apply your chevron stickers, make sure that they line up nicely. You can see I'm struggling a little bit here, but just take your time, make sure they line up. If you have a liquid latex product, you can apply it now to make cleanup just a little bit easier later. Take your cosmetic sponge and paint on a large amount of the light blue polish. Soon you'll see why the other side of the sponge is dirty, but just sponge that onto your nail, onto the chevrons. This is probably going to take quite a few coats to make it fully opaque, but I do find that sponging is a lot better than just directly painting on because you get nice crisp lines. So before the blue dries, you're going to want to peel off your liquid latex product if you're using one, and also make sure you peel off the chevrons as carefully as possible. If there are any mistakes, you can go in with your paintbrush and some white polish or the light blue polish to go ahead and clean up any of those lines. Now you can take some acetone and a cleanup brush and go around and fix up any little bits that are left on your cuticle. And once everything's dry, you can go ahead and add your favorite glossy top coat. Okay, moving on to your ring finger, which is also commonly known as the detail nail. We're gonna do the polka dot design. Start off with your base coat and then you can paint on one to two coats of your white nail polish. Once that's completely dry, you can take your large dotting tool and create a large diagonal line of pink dots across the middle of your nail. Now you can take your blue polish and go ahead and continue the pattern on until you've completely filled up your nail. I have pretty small nails, so it doesn't take that many dots to fill up my nails. And of course, you can go off of your nail because we're going to be able to clean that up later. You just want the design to completely fill up your nail. Once you've completed your design, you can take acetone and a cleanup brush and start to clean up the overlapping bits that are on the edges of your nails. And once your polka dots are completely dry, you can finish off with your favorite glossy top coat. And last but not least, we have our three color gradient on the pinky nail. So start off with your base coat and then you can add your one to two coats of white nail polish. 
If you have a liquid latex product, you can apply it now just to make cleanup easier later. Now take your cosmetic sponge and paint on the pink, white, and blue polishes, slightly overlapping. If you have a really small nail like me, you want the lines to be thin so you can fit them all onto your nail. Now you can sponge it on. This took a couple of coats just because these polishes are very light. Once you're happy with the color of your gradient, you can peel off your liquid latex product if you're using any, and then you can go in with acetone and a cleanup brush to fix any little bits around your cuticles. Now finish off with your favorite glossy top coat. And that is it for this Skittle nail art design. I hope you guys liked it. If you'd like to see more in-depth videos like this, please give this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe for more nail art.